All right, everyone, it's episode five of Golf at Home with Monty Instruction, and today is Thursday, and you know what that means. Pro Tip Thursday. So what's really exciting about this one is a lot of you have been asking for distance. And distance is power, but there's two things that we need to understand. The length of swing and the speed in which we're swinging the club. Put those two together, that makes the golf ball go further. But if you look at our last video where we talked about the gears, that is where the foundation of what we're about to do comes from. So, if I just walk up and I take a golf swing, it looks like this. Now, you can take a look at my screen. I'll show you what we're going to be looking at. All right, so that ball went 171 carry, 183 total, but the club speed was 87 miles an hour. Okay, now to make it go further, the two things we need to do is take a longer and faster swing. Now, the fine print of that is do not use the four bad words in golf. Muscles, power, hitting, and trying. Muscles, power, hitting. You can't, mag you can't measure them, you can't magnify them, you can't do anything, okay? Just like your wrists. How do you know how much wrist that you just used right there? You have no idea. You can say it's 100%, you can say it's 50%, but you can't accurately measure it. So those are the three bad words. But trying, trying is very challenging because you want to put so much pressure on yourself. So that is a bad word. Now listen to this sentence. I want you to take this club and I want you to try to hit that tree as many times as you can. Got a little exciting. I got a little pressure on myself. But if I say, hey, here's your seven iron. Let's hit that tree. Just by taking the word trying out, the pressure's gone. That's what's so hard about this, is everything up here. You need to understand that if you can use the gears all at the same time, but longer and faster, everything will happen. So let's put it all together. Longer and faster. 87 miles an hour was the last one. And now, holy smokes. Well, there must have been a oopsie on there somewhere. Gained one mile an hour, little extra ball speed, but supposedly that went a long ways. So let's delete that last one. Ball speed went up more than 15 miles an hour. So let's try that one more time. I know I took a longer swing. Okay, let's take a look at this one. 118.87. There we go, 131.91. And I smacked it, but I had a very close club face. So if I go over here, you see how it drew a lot. Now, if you think about my gears, because I was trying to go longer and faster, I used more upper body to get the power, get that swing speed up, but that was my issue. I used too much arms. I need to use that lower body, gotta keep up, okay? The upper body was grinding. So, take it again. Arms and body working together. One unison piece. Oh yeah, there it is. Definitely went straighter. Take a look at our norm numeric display. 129.99. So, swing speed went up, ball speed went up, carry distance went up, and the total went up. Longer and faster equals distance. We'll see you next time.